Alright guys, so now we're going to solve another problem with incomplete combustion. So this time, ang fuel natin is not pure carbon, but we have a methane gas. Okay? So our fuel here will be CH4. Okay? And our methane gas is burned in an engine supplying 20% excess of air. Okay? So we have an air plus 20% excess. Okay? Then, 90% of the carbon in the fuel goes to CO2 and the rest to CO. Now, we need to calculate the ORSAT analysis of the flue gas. Okay, so this is our flue gas. And we need to get the ORSAT analysis of that. Now, what are the things that we need to take note? So, 90% of our carbon has been burnt to CO2 and the rest which is 10% of the carbon has been burnt to CO. No? So we need to take note of that. Now in order to solve for this problem, we need to set a basis. So let's say our basis is uh, we have 100 gram mole of our fuel which is CH4. Yes, okay? Now, kailangan nating makuha kung gano'ng karami yung air na sinusupply natin. Ano? But, para hindi tayo masyadong malito, let me write here 100 gram mole of CH4. Okay? Para may value tayong sinusundan. So, we need to get the a value of air no, na sinusupply natin. And to get that, we need to get the theoretical air. Then we will add 20% excess. So, para makuha natin yung air na sinusupply natin, kunin muna natin yung theoretical air supplied. Okay? So, to do that, we need to consider the theoretical combustion. Ano? So, let us first have a look sa ating theoretical combustion. Okay, so alam natin that if we have theoretical combustion, all of our fuel, okay, lahat ng ating combustible fuel will be burned to carbon dioxide. No? So we will have CH4 plus O2 and this will be converted to CO2 and water. Right? So therefore, kailangan natin itong i-balance, no? So, to balance this, we have carbon 1 is to 1, and our hydrogen is 4, so we have 2 H2O, so our oxygen will be 4, so we will have also 2 right here, no? So, based from our basis, we have 100 gram mole of CH4. So, uh, because we have 1 is to 2, Okay, ng ratio ng ating CH4 to O2, that means we have 200 gram mole of O2 na required for complete combustion. No? Therefore, our theoretical O2 is equal to 200 gram mole, ba? Okay, so now we need to get how much supplied O2 we have. So we have O2 supplied is equal to uh, our theoretical O2 plus 20% excess. No? So, therefore, we have 200 gram mole. Ito yung ating theoretical O2 multiplied to 1.2. Okay? So, sa natin nakuha yung 1.2 because we have 20% excess. No? So, this is 1 plus 0 0.2 which is the 20% excess no Okay kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 1.2 dito no So now if you're going to multiply this 200 times 1.2 we will have 
240 gram moles. No? So, we will have 240 gram mole of O2 supply. Okay, so meron na tayong value ng O2 supply. Okay, so alam na natin tong uh, gram mole ng ating O2 supply which is 240. No? So, write natin dito. Okay, so alam natin that in our flue gas, ano yung magiging mga components natin. Of course, alam natin that 90% ng carbon sa ating fuel has been converted to CO2. So, therefore, we have CO2 dito sa ating flue gas. So, hindi pa natin alam yung amount niya. And the rest to CO. So, therefore, we have CO dito sa ating flue gas. Now, we have to take note that our fuel is a hydrocarbon. So, therefore, uh, our hydrogen will be converted to H2O. And there is no mention that not all of our hydrogen has been converted to water. So, we will not be writing an unburned H2 here. No? So, we will be considering that all of our hydrogen has been converted to water. Okay? Because hindi naman siya mentioned sa ating problem. Now, we have excess air supplied. No? So, hindi naman lahat ng air natin will be used for combustion of CH4. So, therefore, we will have O2 unused here. Hindi pa natin alam yung value. And since we are supplying air, therefore, we have nitrogen dito sa ating air. So, we will have N2 dito sa ating flow gas. No? So, now, let us see kung ano yung maukuha na natin. So, alam na natin yung auto supplied. Therefore, maukuha natin kung gano'ng karaming nitrogen yung nasupply. Okay? Because we have the ratio of oxygen to nitrogen. No? So, we can get the supplied N2. Okay, so here we have 240 gram mole of O2. Then we have 21 gram mole of O2 for every 79 gram mole of N2. So this is the ratio of oxygen and nitrogen in air. No? So this is our air ratio. Okay, so check muna natin yung unit natin. This will be cancelled out. So, ang may iwan is gram mole of N2. Okay, so let us calculate for the N2 supplied. So, we will have 240 times 79 divided by 21. So, we will have 902.86. gram mole of N2. Okay, so this is incombustible, so this will remain dito sa ating flue gas, no? So we have N2 here, which is 902.86 gram mole. Okay? So meron na tayong N2, no? So now, the next thing that we will do is to calculate for our actual combustion, no? Yung totoong nangyaring combustion natin. Okay, so we need to take note sa ating stoichiometric ratio ng ating fuel. So we have CH4. Okay, let's say for every 1 gram mole of CH4, we have 1 gram mole of carbon and 2 gram mole of H2. Now we have 2 gram mole of H2. So yan ang ating stoichiometric relationship. And since from our basis, we have 100 gram mole of CH4. Therefore, we have 100 gram mole of carbon and 200 gram mole of H2. No? So, yan ang ating stoichiometric relationships. So, let us now uh, write yung ating uh, reaction sa ating actual combustion. No? So, we have a carbon that is burned and converted to CO2. Okay? And according to our problem, 90% of our carbon in the fuel goes to CO2. So, if we have 100 gram mole of CH4, then that means we have 90 gram mole of carbon 
that is converted to CO2. So, 1 is to 1. Ang ating O2 rin is 1 is to 1. Okay? So, immediately, alam na natin kung gaano karaming gram mole ng CO2 ang nasa ating flue gas. We have 90. So, we can write that here. Okay? So, we have 90 gram mole. Okay. Now, 10% of our carbon has been converted to CO. So, we have C plus O2 forming CO. Now, to balance our reaction, we will have one half of O2 here. Okay, so 10% of our carbon has been converted to CO. So, 1 is to 1 sa ating CO. So, we have 10 here. So, for our O2, it will be one half of our carbon. So, we will have 5. Okay? So, immediately, meron na tayong value ng uh, carbon monoxide natin, which is 10 gram mole. So, we have CO, which is 10 gram moles sa ating flue gas. Now, all of our hydrogen has been burnt to water. No? Tulad ng binanggit ko kanina, wala namang binanggit sa problem na hindi lahat ng hydrogen has been converted to uh, water. So, we have H2 plus O2 has been converted to H2O. To balance this, so we will have one half of O2. So, gano'ng karaming H2 meron tayo sa ating fuel? We have 200 gram mole. No? So, we have 200. Sorry, let me write that properly. 200. So, ang ating ratio to water will be 1 is to 1. So, we have 200 here. And then, for our oxygen, we have 100. One half of our H2. So, meron na tayong value ng water no? sa ating flue gas which is 200. So, we can write that here. So, as you can see, ang balance na lang natin is itong O2 unused. Now, based from this, makikita natin kung gaano karaming oxygen ang nagamit natin. Ano? So, we have O2 use sa ating actual combustion. which is equal to the oxygen used for carbon, uh, forming carbon dioxide, which is 90, plus the oxygen used for converting carbon to CO, which is 5, and then plus the oxygen used for converting H2 to H2O, which is 100. So therefore, our O2 use in actual combustion is 195 gram mole of O2. So, yan yung actual na nagamit natin. Now, we can get now the O2 unused. Okay? So, paano natin makukuha yan? O2 supplied. Okay? Yung O2 na uh, ating sinupply dito sa ating combustion process. no? Then, we will be subtracting itong O2 unused use. Okay? So, O2 use in actual combustion. No? So, gaano karami yung ating O2 supplied? Na-calculate na natin yung kanina. No? So, we have O2 supplied right here which is 240 gram mole of O2. So, we have 240 minus our O2 use which is 195. Okay? So, therefore, our O2 unused is equal to 240 minus 195. So, we have 45 gram mole of O2 unused. Okay? So, yan ngayon yung naandito sa ating flue gas. 45 gram mole. Okay. So, now we're going to get the ORSAT analysis Okay, of our flue gas. So, let me write this again sa ibaba, no? Para magtuloy-tuloy yung ating computation. Okay, so, let me go down and write this again. So, our flue gas, okay, contains, sulat uli natin, we have CO2, which is equal to 90 gram mole. We have CO, which is equal to 
10 gram mole. We have O2 unused, which is equal to 45 gram mole. We have N2 supplied, which is equal to 902.86 gram mole. And we have water, which is 200 gram mole. Now, tulad nung natutunan natin last time, no, in getting the ORSAT uh, analysis of our flue gas, we will be taking the percentage of every component but disregarding itong ating water. So, first, we will get the sum of all the number of moles ng ating components except for water. Okay, so let us add all these values. So we have 90 plus 10. Okay, so plus 10 plus 45. Okay, then plus 902.86. Okay, so we have a total of 1047.86. gram mole of our flue gas. Okay, so now we are going to get yung percentage ng bawat component natin. And that is what will be our ORSAT analysis. Let us start sa ating CO2. So, our CO2 we have 90. So, we have 90 divided by our flue gas which is 1047.86 times 100. So, we have 8.59% Okay, so now we will calculate for CO which is 10 Okay, divided by 1047.86 times 100 and this is equal to 0.95% Now, for O2, we have 45 divided by 1047.86 times 100. This is equal to 4.29%. And finally, for our N2, we have 902.86 divided by 1000. 47.86 times 100 and this is equal to 86.16% okay so this is our ORSAT analysis no? okay so this is how we solve incomplete combustion if our fuel is a hydrocarbon, katulad nitong problem natin dito. Now, we have CH4 which is a methane gas as our fuel dito sa ating combustion. Okay, so we will be solving more problem sa mga susunod pa nating video. So, with all of that and more, I will see you sa ating mga susunod pang mga lecture video about stoichiometry of fuel combustion.